Oil and violence in Afghanistan continues to tug at the hearts of those here in Connecticut. Last night, we brought you the exclusive story of a local veteran who was trying to help three Afghan allies. Tonight, we have some new communication from one of those men. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live right now in the newsroom with more on this. And Matthew, this is pretty chilling. Yeah, Mark, you know, the video that you're about to see makes us an eyewitness to what's going on in Afghanistan. It was sent by one of the three men who are fearing for their lives to the Connecticut veteran, and he says he's sharing it exclusively with us. This is exclusive video sent today from Afghanistan. You can see a man in white get taken into custody at gunpoint, and it just gets more disturbing as the video continues. You can see them take somebody, put a bag over their head, and put that person in the back of a pickup truck. Retired Army Master Sergeant Morgan Fazell says the man in white is a U.S. ally. Fazell was the one who received that video from a local he's been trying to help get out of Afghanistan. That shows the, the Taliban actually hunting down uh, those that had worked for or with the U.S. government. Fazel, who was deployed to Afghanistan in 2012, says what you are seeing is not the extreme. He says this is the norm for the Taliban as they seek vengeance on Afghans who helped the U.S. That's why he wrote a letter of recommendation and sent it to the State Department, hoping a special immigrant visa could bring them to safety. He says today's deadly attack in Kabul will likely slow that process down. It's going to be that much harder to clear anybody onto the base. Um, they're going to be moving slower and after this uh, big event that happened today. What happened today is not going to speed things up. Roughly 1,500 Americans and even more Afghan allies are currently in Afghanistan and keeping them safe while trying to get them out is the priority. But the Pentagon and Fazel both agree more attacks are likely. It is There's a no doubt in my mind that the Taliban isn't going to ramp up violence and and make it appear as if they're chasing us out of there. Now, both Democrats and Republicans are asking President Biden to extend the evacuation operation past the end of the month. So far, the White House says more than 70,000 people have been evacuated since mid-August. Now, as soon as we get an update on the three men Faisal is working with, we're going to bring it to you. But for now, that is the latest live here in the newsroom. Matthew Campbell. Channel 3 News. All right, Matthew, let us know. Thank you very much. Stay with Channel 3 for the very latest on the attack in Afghanistan. We will bring